Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a puppy haul. Um, this is Armani. For those of you guys that don't know or haven't met him yet, this is Armani. <laughs> and he's kind of fussy right now. He's very full of energy, so he kind of does not want to be working doing this video right now. Um, so I might put him down, but I just wanted to do the intro with him. Look, as you guys can see, he's crazy. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got for Armani before I got him, things that we kind of picked up on the way. And um, I'm going to be going over like all his favorite things, the things that he kind of doesn't really like to use, um, bad products that we kind of learned from, his crate, his toys, his treats, literally everything you need for a puppy. I wanted to be so prepared before I got Armani like I literally wanted to have him not missing one thing like I was that type of mom <laughs> Where are you going oh my god he almost freaking fell he was bouncing on my leg and I caught you I caught you huh? <laughs> what's up baby you want to say hi? Say hi! Hi, YouTube! <laughs> oh! He has a little attitude, honestly. He has a little attitude. He's like his mom. If you guys want to continue watching this video to see everything that you will need to get a new puppy, then go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of me and Armani. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up before we get started if you're ready to see some puppy products. Also, I will be linking where I got every single product down in the description box below, even if I didn't really like the product. I'm still going to list it in the description box. I also want to say that I mostly got everything from Amazon. But um, I recently discovered that Amazon contributes a lot to Trump's campaign. So um, I would just, you know, take that as you will. kind of wish I could have found places to... Excuse me. Can you not? Some of the products are also from like other places, but mostly everything is from Amazon. And yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't done that, but Amazon is still the plug nonetheless. So I will link everything. So the first thing that I got Armani was obviously the crate. Um, and it's basically just like the crates that everybody gets for their dogs with the little like, uh, actually I think this one has two doors, like entrances and exits for the dog. Um, I think I got mine a little bit bigger for Armani, but that's just because I didn't really feel comfortable having him like in such a tight space for a crate. And they say that your dog's only supposed to be able to like lay down and stuff, but at first I thought that I was going to be leaving Armani in the crate when I would leave or whatever, but I ended up getting the pen because I still felt like that crate was too restricting. Um, I wouldn't like it if I was put in a very small place, so I kind of don't want to do that to my dog. And the playpen actually works a little more effectively to like keeping him entertained. He gets to play in there and like he has his potty area. And in the crate, he would have only really had like a bed and some potty area. So it, it doesn't really make sense. The playpen that I got for Armani was also a little bit too big. But I don't think it really matters because I, it's not like I'm going to have him in there forever. It's really just only during this training period so I can get him used to boundaries and like where he's supposed to be going to the restroom and the places that he's not really allowed to come. Another thing I want to say about the playpen is that it does not have like a like a door or like an opening. It's just like the entire playpen connected and it kind of still ended up working out for us because we just block off like the area that we don't want him to come over here to and like basically the living room is his area. But we kind of figured it out also a way that we can kind of open a door for it so it's not even that bad. Are you okay? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who's this puppy baby? Who's this puppy? Mmm, yummy, yummy. Mmm, yummy puppy. Mmm, yummy puppy. You guys, he's also in like a really awkward stage because his hair is changing color on the top. I don't know if you guys can see. And his hair is also growing out, so he's just in a little awkward stage, and I love it. He's so cute. But he's about to be. Thank you. Okay, you guys, moving on to, like, the bedding. So, 
Um, for the bedding, I got a little mat that goes inside the crate, which is just this baby blue one. And this is like basically where I thought he would be sleeping, you know? And then the other side of the crate, I would put the puppy pads, but we don't use that anymore. So I just put a blanket on the other side. Oh my goodness, is that a monster or a puppy? So these two blankets came in a pack of two. I got them from Amazon and let me show you guys really quick. I was a little disappointed because I didn't really pay attention to the size. And it's just kind of like a little rectangle. Right, and I kind of thought it was going to be a little bigger, but when he was a puppy, it was a really good size. Either way, I think these blankets are very cute, and obviously I put them to use. So one thing about these blankets, though, is as soon as I washed it, this happened. So yeah, I mean, but it was a good price. Okay, so round two, I got a different blanket from Amazon too. And this one was way better, exactly what I was looking for. Super cute. It's a little, it's way bigger actually. And I just love baby blue polka dots for like boys and stuff. And I think Armani looks so cute with this as like the background when he's sleeping and stuff. <laughs> he looks like a little angel. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is probably my favorite thing that I got Armani. And this is his bed. And I also got this from Amazon and it's so freaking cute and fluffy. And this, I've washed it so many times and nothing happens to it. It is pretty good quality. And Armani loves this. Ever since he was a baby, he just loves this bed. I guess because it's so soft and also multi-use. He plays with the fringes. I read that these donut-shaped beds are really good for dogs. It kind of like... Uh, alleviates their anxiety and reduces stress so I guess it's like a calming relaxing bed it's very cute before I got Armani I don't know why I thought he wasn't gonna like that bed it just kind of seemed like flimsy I kind of wanted him to have like a thicker bed I don't know um, and I thought maybe he wouldn't like that one so I got him another one <laughs> and he ended up liking the other one <laughs> He didn't even really like this one more. I got this one actually from PetSmart and this one feels so Such good quality <laughs> Armani just you know can't tell but this one is a little more stiff on the donut area So if I feel like it's more of like a Tempur-Pedic type and then right here in the center It's just more fuller I guess than the other one Still very comfortable and he uses both of these but I feel like he just prefers the other one also got him a carrier well basically i got myself a carrier for my dog but it just looks like a little purse which i love i wanted something that you know looked like a purse <laughs> and i think what you search for these type of carriers is fashion carriers when you're trying to look for like a cute bag like this it kind of looks like a tote you just want to search fashion carriers and that's how i found this one and they have a lot of other cute ones on amazon too this was just like my favorite and it does have an opening here so he could breathe it has one here in the front too that you can close up and then you can just roll this up which i think is pretty convenient and so the top has a zipper so you can zip this all the way to the back you can clip it to the last clip so that way it doesn't come undone and he could pop his head out there's also a little leash thing that kind of connects to his collar so that way he won't be jumping out show you guys how it looks on me I'm pretty small so in comparison but it fits him in here. Okay, you guys, moving on to toys. So I believe I got the toys in sets. Um, I got like this one package that came with stuffed animals, which are these. I believe there was one more, but I don't know where it went. So it's just this little crab and then this little dinosaur and this other animal. And he loves the out of these. Like... It's kind of like when I first got him, these were like his size, but he still loved it anyways. Like, and they also have a squeak. He just loves these toys and it looks so funny. He's so cute because they're literally almost bigger than him. And when he carries it or when he like plays fetch and he's coming back with it, he looks adorable. I also read that you're supposed to kind of get your dog 
types of toys from every category so that way you can see which ones are their favorites so before i got Armani, i got stuff type of toys i also got rope toys so this one i believe i just got from walmart before we got him and this one came in another toy set that i ordered from amazon actually i believe it came in the stuffed animal one so that's good it came with a little rope and he loves ropes too i think Armani might like all types of toys also got balls, that's another different type of toy, so I guess it's like plush, rope, balls, and bones. Yeah. <laughs> so I got this six pack of balls, I didn't give them all, all of them yet, but I think I got this one at PetSmart. I also got another pack of toys, um, and this I think I got, this pack I got him once we already had him. And I just thought that he he did, he was liking the plush toys but I feel like I just wanted something different for him he was into it a little bit but when I got him these he was way more into these and now he just plays with both of them the same but these are so freaking cool and I already knew that he was gonna like these a lot because these are rodents I don't know if you guys can tell and terriers actually you know um were meant to like catch mice so the way that they like move their head when they're shaking a toy is kind of how they kill mice you know so i just knew that terriers really like toys like these some of these have a little crinkle and a little squeaker and this came with i believe a couple so here's some rodents and he loves these a lot you can play tug of war with them and he kind of shakes them and he's probably trying to break one right now. here you go here you go <laughs> i'm gonna get one now <laughs> Okay, lastly for toys, I got bones. So this came in a pack of three, and these are peanut butter flavored bones, and these are a little bit more chewy. These that I got were a little bit harder, so these are called Nyla Bones. They're both Nyla Bones. These are just a little harder that I got, and I'll, of course, link both of them down below. I believe I got these at PetSmart. You guys will tell with your dog, when they're smaller, they're teething a lot more often, so they want something that's a little softer to chew. Once they get older, they kind of don't really have preference over textures. They just like everything. Moving on to the bathing or, like, the hygiene section. <laughs> It took me a while to look up good shampoos and conditioners for Yorkies. I read that they have, they tend to have dry skin, especially when you wash them often. So you want to have something that has either like oatmeal or honey in the conditioner and or shampoo. So that way it soothes their skin. So I got Earth Bath and it had really good reviews. It is cruelty free and the products that they have in here are not harmful for your dog. And the shampoo scent is Wild Cherry. And the conditioner is oatmeal and aloe, and the scent is vanilla and almond. So this is very important, the oatmeal and aloe just soothes the skin. And then I also got a little deodorizing pet spray. When he was a little smaller, I didn't want to be washing him as often, so I would just spray this when he would start smelling a little bad. And this smells like kiwi blossom. also got this brush. I believe I got this brush from Amazon, and guys, I do not use this brush at all. Like, Armani's hair is a puppy hair still so it doesn't really get matted this part he doesn't really like his hair is pretty soft i feel like yorkie's hair is kind of already soft so i would why did i get this i don't know the comb that we do use very often is this one and this i just had in my stuff um but i'm pretty sure you could find them you know everywhere at walmart and i use this specifically for under his eyes so Yorkies and I'm pretty sure a lot of other dogs get little like moquitos on their eyes and you just brush it out like this and the the little moquitos will get stuck in here since it's a thin comb and it just brushes them out. You want to wet the puppy's hair a little bit first because sometimes they crust up and you don't want to pull the hair. But you wet the hair and then or even after they sh they're showered and you just comb the little things out and... All done and usually Yorkies get this very often like almost every day especially when they're puppies so this comes in handy every morning you know we just wash our faces and do skincare routines and this is everyday type of thing so the other thing that we do on our hygiene routines is we brush his teeth so I got this puppy toothbrush toothpaste set I believe at PetSmart, if not Walmart, I'm not sure. Um, but they sell these everywhere too. And 
you just want to make sure that you get tartar control for the puppies. Um, and I wasn't using this toothpaste on the puppy until he got a little bit older. And this toothbrush just comes apart like this. He likes to chew on it. So what I've been doing with Armani is that I just allow him to chew on it. And I just rotate the brush like this every time he's chewing on it. And I kind of get him used to brushing his teeth. I also forgot to mention this, but I got him his food bowls. And I just got the regular non-slip bowls. It comes in a pair of two. Okay, so now puppy pads. So... I got these puppy pads off of Amazon and this is the first time that I'm getting them. Um, the other two times that I got puppy pads, they were just like the white and blue ones. And I'll tag that link. May I help you? Yes, so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come here. You guys, he literally barks at me to play with him. He tells me what to do. Almost, almost. One more, one more. You guys, I got these puppy pads because they said that they were black, right? And they are black. They are black. Look at this. But this side goes up. They still are a little more discreet than the white ones, but they finesse me. I did also get him some bones and I will tag the I will insert like a picture here of the bones that I got and they're basically the edible bones and they're made up of maybe like chicken flavor or something else. I don't remember. They come in like a three pack. And those bones made Armani so sick. He ended up getting diarrhea for a few days till we figured out that the bones were the ones doing it to him. Um, I feel so bad. I wish I would have read the ingredients on those treats a little more. And I would have known that they're not, you know, that good for your dogs. So just be careful with those edible bones. I've heard that that happens to a lot of other dogs too. So just be careful with that. Here, I'm going to give you one. So what I would recommend are these treats. Um, my sister has also recommended these for me. My sister works at PetSmart, so she, you know, really knows what the book says. Um, and these I got from PetSmart, and these are for puppies. These are the Blue Buffalo Bites. So they're soft, moist training treats. And these have never made our money sick. And it says that they're enhanced with DHA to support cognitive development. So they look like this, which I can appreciate. They're very small and I just tear off little bits of them and give them to our money like that because you don't need to give him like the whole thing. They're also shaped like hearts, you guys. So cute. Those are the treats that Armani really likes and really the only ones that I've been sticking to. I don't really want to like give him too many things to try because I don't want to upset his stomach right now that he's a baby. One thing that has I have been using as treats too is fruit, um, but you can always look up which fruits are safe to give your dogs they give you like a whole list of the fruits that you can give your puppy armani really likes fruit so i'll try to give him fruit only a certain amount throughout the day as the treats instead and it works just as good it's a very good incentive if anything a little more because the fruit is very sweet and puppies love it it's also very good for their immune system and obviously just like for us it gives us vitamins and nourishes us so it does the same thing for puppies so don't forget to give your puppies fruit okay you guys so that was everything that i got armani everything that he plays with all the time oh baby do you have a good life do you have good things do you have good things, baby? I love this dog. I love this baby. I love this baby. I love this baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you guys, he's so freaking cute. I love him. Oh my goodness, you're giving me love? Oh my baby. My baby. Well, that was it for this video. I hope that this was very helpful to a lot of you guys that are about to get your puppies. I'm very excited for all of you guys that are about to be puppy parents. This is such a beautiful thing and I'm so beyond happy that I have Armani now. He just brings so much happiness to my life and doing all these little things for him like giving him a routine, training him, buying him little toys and stuff. It's just like so fulfilling for me to see him happy and have fun if you guys like this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up so me and armani can keep making videos just like this for you guys 
If you guys are about to get your puppies, let me know in the comments down below what puppy you're about to get. I am literally so excited for you guys. You guys keep commenting that you guys are getting your keys on my videos and stuff. And I just feel so excited because when I first got Armani, I was, I was tired, but it was just the best thing ever. It's still the best thing ever. If you guys already have puppies at home, well, I always say puppies, but I mean, I say puppies even though when I'm talking about dogs, but if you guys have doggies at home, comment your doggies' names down so we can see what puppy friends we got. Don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on post notifications so you can be notified every single time I post a video so you guys don't miss any more videos of me and Armani. I also do makeup videos on this channel, lifestyle videos, health videos, vlogs. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to subscribe and join our little family. Oh my goodness. I will also be doing a video, probably the next one with Armani. It will be like a puppy update. I'll tell you guys how old he is, what tricks he's been doing, um, how his potty train is, training is going. Okay, we could go play now. We could go play now. I'm sorry. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys.